what did you guys grow up with? Uh, N64. This is not an N64. No, I know. <laughs> no. <laughs> you? I, I nev- I've never played a video game Ever? in my life. Well, I I've I played, made her, but... I played, like, Guitar Hero, like, one time. <laughs> one time? Yeah. I lived on Guitar Hero. Yeah? And how good were you in Guitar Hero? I think it's pretty good. Yeah? Who do I click A? Should I click A? Just hit start, I think. There you go. So, <laughs> what do you mean? Good, so, Guitar Hero... Uh, can you be a good musician while playing Guitar Hero? Does that make you... Um, I don't really know. No, I guess the rhythms would be the same, but yeah. Like, I played, I just played it when we played Beach Life. Did you die? I think so. You gotta hit the turtle, like, underneath it. Underneath it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not like Mario. Like, with Mario, you, you have to, me. like, jump on it. Yeah, I was actually gonna go jump How do you jump and yeah. get You gotta jump at the A. Ah, I did it! <laughs> Where do I go now? <laughs> the Andre Cat me, did you? Do you have nicknames growing up? Yeah, well, everyone's always yeah. called me Kai, um, yeah. which isn't really anything. It's like a short form. But my parents call me like the baby. The baby? Oh. The baby, yeah. And so it's kind of like I'm the, also the youngest in the band, so I'm the baby of the oh, band. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Or unless you want to do Super Mario Brothers. Did you Would have that be easier? No, let's keep going. You want to do this? Okay. I'm going to get rid of these turtles. Did yeah, you, you get like. I, I didn't have a nickname. You didn't have no nickname at all? No. Uh, in high school, is Lurl, which is just my first yeah, initial yeah. and then my last name. Okay. Uh, and now my nickname is Lee, like just L-E. Yeah. Um, and then you gotta like hit the turtle. Yeah. Right here. There you go. So oh, how did you guys all meet? Kelly, kick him. How do I kick it? No, <laughs> run him. No, run into him. Run into him. How did you all meet? <laughs> like that? No, he was alive again. Oh. Um, they were, the three of them were a, a, a band before. A band, a band already, before. Yeah. I was yeah. a big fan. Yeah. And um, I met them at shows. Sorry, it's hard to. <laughs> I know this is, it. this is the whole thing. Oh my god! I know. I met them at shows, and yeah. then they came to my high school. Yeah, I'm older than them, and so they started going to my high school, and I was like, oh my, god, my favorite band. And then we became really good friends yeah. um, before she joined the band. Yeah, and then we. As soon as our other member quit, we asked her immediately, and then the rest is history. Wow. Well, yeah. Let's give a shout out to the school. Uh, Rose 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 Dale Dale Heights, Heights School of the Arts. When was the last time you were at Rose Dale? Uh, I never want to be back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think what? the last time we were there was when I graduated, because I'm, I'm the youngest, so in like 2015. Yeah. 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 I graduated high school five years ago. Do you think you'll ever do like a show there? Like a... I mean, I would be open to it. We played one when we were in high school, like when we were starting to get a little bit of uh, yeah. attention yeah. or whatever, yeah. and we did end cool. up playing at the show. I think the I teacher. Yeah. I'm into it. Is there other games? games? There's yeah. other games. There's like uh, 700 over 700. We can games. go for another game. Whatever you yeah, want. We'll try. What do you think? We'll try a different sure. game. Okay. You want a different well, which one? Sure. Do you want? Let's try a different. What one. Are, oh. You. Pick. <laughs> I know. Well, oh, what what like kind of games do you like play? Well, you don't even play games. It's not. There's no Guitar Hero. I think some of the teachers were not uh, that supportive, so yeah. I don't care to be back. <laughs> you don't care to be back? But no. we, could, we could do it for the, for the kids. For the kids. The two-player. That's good. This is one at a time, though. That's okay. So maybe you All right. help with it. There you go. That's there, that's right. probably easier. <laughs> yeah. For the kids. Okay, okay. For um, kids. And then when did you know that you hit it big? Um, I think it was honestly when our songs started getting on like the radio, yeah. and um, we got nominated for like Breakthrough Group of the Year for like the Junos, and yeah. we yeah. ended up winning that. Okay. And I think that's when we started to kind of see like, think like, oh yeah, this is like getting serious. And then our first Cross Canada tour, like almost every show was sold out. Wow. So that was kind of like an indicator. And what year was it? What, what tour was that? The Late Show tour. Late show tour oh, yeah. like 2018. Yeah, I, I would say so. But we were we've been a band since twenty thirteen. Hey, decade, right? Yeah. Yeah. And your sophomore album, which is just crazy. Two albums in I ten know. years. I know. A <laughs> lot of EPs. A lot of EPs. Um, a lot of EPs. A lot of you know, we were dealing with different labels and Yeah, we kinda of bounced around a little different bit. Different managers and it, it was just like, you know, not things working in our favor, but yeah. everything gets you to where you are, so Yeah. That's a good, I was going to say, like, any advice for up-and-coming bands? Um, what would you... 
it's it's tough. I mean, like you kind of have to be like quite patient and like trust yeah. the process, and you need to like continue to have that drive even when things seem like they're not going your way. Yeah, it's really easy to kind of like lose sight and uh-huh. like give up, and you just kind of have to like always find a way to persevere. Yeah. I think because it's the four of us, we all kind of like try to like keep each other relatively positive and we're lucky to have that support um so if you can find people who also can like have a good attitude and like continue to work together mm-hmm. in that way yeah. i think that's like the best thing you can do but it's different now with tiktok like when we were starting it was just playing as many shows as we can yeah. we had like a residency at the supermarket in kensington market and was that? Was that like we had like in the, uh, the aisle Oh, no, it, <laughs> it, 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 awesome. it's like a bar called Super yeah, Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> and, you know, like, it was at midnight on week, on, like, Wednesdays, Wednesdays, and then we'd have to go to school the next morning, and nobody would show up. It was, like, our dad's and our agent. The and time. then, like, yeah. some really drunk people who just, like, yeah, yeah it was super fun. But we but, did that every week. Yeah. And also at the Riverside that used to be in Broadview. Yeah. Broadview. Yeah. Man, you're crushing this game. Yeah, you're really, you're I'm really good. I'm slow at it, but... No, you're really good. You're so. understanding it, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to do that like, well. Oh, gee. Um, what were your grades like in school? Going back to school? Good. Good? Yeah, yeah. mine were quite good. Okay. But I took really easy classes because I was... We were always in L.A. Like, we basically would take, like, months off school and go to L.A. Wow, would that be awesome? <laughs> it was pretty cool. I don't think I was in school when this when was happening, were, so no. I was already out. I had to take really easy classes because I knew what? I wasn't going to be able to balance that. Your turn. My turn? Yeah, oh, yeah. Luigi, there you go. Well, what did you want to be when you were growing up? Um, I think I always wanted to be a musician. I mean, I started earlier than Leandra. You have to jump on them. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. I, we, I started in the music industry when I was 12 years Legend. old. Well. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, sister, same thing? Yeah. We yeah. were in like a yeah. Disney Channel band, so we started really young, and I think for the longest time, that's kind of what I wanted to do. When I was really, really little, I wanted to be a scientist who studied rocks. And? And now I'm a rock star. So. Ah. Wow. You did not know that. Yeah. It's really weird. I I don't know. I, I also have like no interest in that at all anymore, but when I was a kid... That was my thing. Would you ever reunite as the Disney Channel band that you guys were in? Uh, no, never. I want yeah. us to play to one play of those songs. To play the song? Do you remember any of the songs? I do. You yeah. do? We only had two songs. <laughs> <laughs> no, you had three. You had lies. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Fashion Sense. I saw that Toronto Star article. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. And where, who, who, how, do you pick whatever you wear on stage or is it we, pretty uh, particular when it comes to We've hired a couple like stylists but like our favorite thing to do is when like a stylist kind of goes through our wardrobe and then yeah. finds a way to curate like all the pieces together so it still feels like us yeah. but like it's just not all over the place. Yeah. Um, so we work really directly uh, closely with um, a couple people in Toronto recently. We've been working with Shay Holt and she's mm-hmm. really awesome to work with. Yeah. And yeah, I think... Do you have like an unlimited budget when it comes to fashion? Uh, well, we, we act like we do. Yeah, we have a lot of clothes, and I've kept, like, some old clothes where I'm like, I should I get rid of these, but then Shay comes into my closet and is like, no, let's pair this with this. And yeah, it's oh, just, oh, like, cool. Okay. You need to, like, look at all your clothes a different way and yeah. see how you can repurpose stuff. And, yeah, so for this, like, American tour, we didn't really have to buy anything no. new. No. We were just using our old clothes, and I bought some, like, Nine dollars shirts from Walmart. That's about it. Perfect. So saving money. Shay Walmart, is saving us the money. If Walmart's listening right now. Yeah. <laughs> and they probably need more. Oh, I don't know. What <laughs> they need more exposure. Don't watch that part. <laughs> so, um, is there a stereotype that you get all the time when it comes to like interviews and all that stuff? And just like. Oh, like a lot of the time we get asked, like, "Oh, what's it like to be in a girl band?" Oh, and then and we just don't really know. I feel like that question has. Stop. People know course. people know not to ask stuff like that yeah. anymore. Yeah. For the most part. For the most part. It's pretty it's yeah. pretty okay. We've gone like, is it like a sleepover? And you're like, what? <laughs> 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 What's your memorable show? Most uh, memorable show? Or um, would it be a memorable tour? Or would it be just... I think like our late show tour was our our first one, so that was really memorable for me. Yeah. Um obviously opening for like the stones and the foos what and all that, that was like, like absolutely crazy. Yeah. But 
I think it was like so surreal. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's like hard to like not black out and like yeah. forget the moments. But when you think about it again, it's just really important to like take it in. Which I'm gonna try and do on uh, <laughs> Saturday. Friday. Yeah, fr yeah. Friday. Yeah. Boston calling. Yeah. Just like we're really lucky to be have these opportunities to play with like people like this. So yeah. Yeah. it's really important to like. Um, just be grateful for like where we've come and you know. Ooh. I think uh, selling out three Danforths was like yes. a huge moment that I'll never forget those shows. Mm -hmm. When was that? Um, is it all a blur for you? Was, like how's it a blur for me? Exactly. Like, that was pre-COVID. Right before COVID. Yeah. So that's yeah, that's always everyone's like last show before the pandemic. So. Yeah. What's on your rider? Um, Video games. No. <laughs> Um, we don't really have anything that crazy on our no, rider. Cliff bars. Like, yeah. We don't like beer. <laughs> our tour manager gets a lot of <laughs> stuff. <laughs> stuff for free. Yeah, I don't know. We should honestly. Wait, put... your tour manager puts well, all the stuff that he wants. He drives us everywhere. So it's like you want to snack on your little Cliff bar, get her. <laughs> yeah. But we just have like chips and beer and. Yeah, it's not really anything like healthy or, or anything like insane. Honestly, no one really eats the rider. We just like tend to drink it. Yeah, we drink. That's probably. <laughs> we used to have like a a photo of Tony Danza at every venue. Yeah, like a signed photo. Of well, Tony no, Danza. people started stepping it up. So someone got it signed. Someone had like a life size cutout of him. Has Tony Danza ever showed up in your show? No, but no. we actually got a real autograph from him. Yeah, that's no like to yeah. the beaches, which was insane. no. Yeah. Someone went to his show whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that he was a performer. I don't but... know what he does. Are you allowed, dangerous, you could like actor. sell t-shirts of his face on it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that was great. Yeah, mentors. Mentors, um, we. I don't know. I think. Can I get under there? I think you have to go up. <laughs> See, you're, you're getting. Oh, nice. Anyways. I mean, I'm. Emily and Jimmy um, yeah. from Metric, they were our first producers that we ever worked with, so I'd consider them to be like mm -hmm. some of our mentors. Yeah. Also, our, our last producer, Jackknife yeah. Lee, I would also oh. consider him to be one of our mentors. He taught us so much. Yeah. And, um, you know, we worked with him when we were really young. And, and he believed in us. He believed in from, us from the beginning. Yeah. So really I don't think we. Is it Jackknife like touring with Bono right oh, now? Yeah, yeah I just saw him in New York. And, he yeah. is touring with Bono. Yeah. Which is so cool, and it's like he also makes like amazing music himself. He's yeah. like such a great uh, songwriter and producer. His talent is like insane. And now probably our mentor is Lowell. I would say mm -hmm. she's the one of the co-producers on the new record, and she's really helped us like step up our songwriting and like pushed us not to be afraid of doing things that maybe like are a little bit out of our comfort zone. Yeah, mm -hmm. and yeah. I don't know how you gals are balancing everything with like relationships and the band and uh, just like life well, in general. Or... Some of us aren't. Oh. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely like challenging, but like, you know, we have really great friends who are like supportive regardless of the fact that we're in a band. Like, they just like love us for who we are as people. And I think like our families are great like that too. And we just have a really good system around us, so. How do you so decide on who's like, okay, um, this new relationship is like, oh, they just want to be for like, like this whole band experience and all that stuff. They're not in it for you or no. Uh, so are you pretty much? No, you can kind of get like a like a red flag immediately for those people. <laughs> like, the clout chasers. Yeah, you can just <laughs> tell. Cool. You yeah, can tell. We've been clouded, but I think we're better at, you know. Tru like, we know who to trust and who we kind of can. Yeah. You just get like a really good, uh, Sorry. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah. I okay. looked away. I blinked. Uh, I'll finish the sentence. At the end of the day. At the end of the day. Blink. At the end of the day, I hope I have a good sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At the end of the day, I watch General Hospital with my mom. No, you don't. I do. I watched do it last you? night. And it's yeah. horrible. It's a horrible show. Yeah. But she loves it. Can you imagine you make a camera? 
General Hospital. I would love to. Although I've just said it's a horrible show. (laughs) I do love it. It's not like great because I grew up only watching General Hospital with my mom. And then when we went on our first tour, Kylie was like, let's watch a show. And I was like, TV is good? General (laughs) Hospital is not good? So now, you know, no thing. But I got like my mom a cameo for her birthday of one of the General Hospital stars. Yeah. It wasn't Tony Danza. No, he wasn't on He wasn't on No. What do you say? Jesse's. Jesse's girl guy was on Joe. Rick Springfield. Rick Springfield. Rick Springfield? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Pretty cool. But yeah, I would love to be in an episode. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> it. At the end of the day, I would love to be in an episode. Yeah. Can I jump on this flying thing? Will it sure, take me or want. will it fall? No. I'm I think just go maybe. Over it. Yeah. How did you enjoy this process? We're done. <laughs> oh, I love it. I could be here all day. Really? <laughs>